Um, so, so what we're trying to actually do with the show from, uh, we'll say, from the start, uh, from the opening number right through to the finale, is we're trying we're trying to show the progression of Irish dance from the very basic traditional work right through to where it is at the moment on the world stage, where it's out there as an art form now rather than as a traditional dance form. So we've taken it from the start of the show, shows the traditional work, it goes through work that would have been done in the 60s and 70s, it would go through work that would have been done, we'll say, in the 90s, and then right through to the big show work, and the dancers will go through all that process and they'll learn all those different stages of where Irish dancing has come from over the last 60 to 70 years. Um, there was a radio presenter called Jinjo, and he ran a radio program, I think it was on the Sunday night, I have to really young to actually remember what it was on, but anyway. <laughs> um, no, you're not. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> but, uh, but what he would do was he would he would run music on the radio, and he would have dancers. Um, he used Rory O'Connor's dancers in Dublin quite a lot for his radio program, and they would dance in heavy shoes in a in a radio studio, where you could hear the footwork being done, and then he would call the movements of the specific Kelly dances. So. If you were, at, I would say, if you were in in a space with eight people, you could actually participate with the radio program in your own home. And that was the principle of what he did at the time, and it was trying, it was trying to, it was trying to promote the old Cayley dancing at that point in time. Um, RT was very, uh, very into the whole notion at the time of like pro uh, promoting Irish culture and Irish music. Um, the ginger number, um, we spent mo we spent most of the morning working on that. Um, the number starts, and it starts with with um, tr a traditional set dance, and it moves from there in traditional hornpipe. But what we were trying to get into the dancers today was a sense of that traditional style, and we used some uh, used some work from the North Kerry tradition, and we used some, uh, some work from the Derry tradition as well. We're trying to get that into them. We're also trying to get some West Clare set dancing into them, and for the guys, we want to get a sense of Shannos into them, but yet for it to be projected as an Irish dance movement. We are trying to um, get rid of all the restraints of the competitive Irish dancing, so the shoulders back, head up, chest out, which is lovely to watch, but it's not the aim of this dance.